Well, I think uh, at this G20 summit, uh, the number one issue really will be the risks in the global economy and what G20 members can do to, to mitigate or reduce those risks. Six or eight weeks ago, people were probably feeling uh, a little bit more comfortable with where the global economy was going, uh, notwithstanding the continuing uncertainty and turbulence in, uh, in Europe. But over the last six weeks or so, we've seen uh, the situation in the, in the Eurozone deteriorate. We've seen uh, growing concerns about the situation in Spain in particular. And that has led to growing worries of the European banking system uh, more broadly. So notwithstanding the Greek election results, I think uh, the situation in the Eurozone will, will be a major issue. The United States uh, economy uh, remains in recovery, but it's a very tepid recovery. Employment has fluctuated between a, a, a very good number and a very bad number, and uh, the lack of real direction in terms of the U.S. economy and, and the recovery in the U.S. economy is, a, is another source of concern. Uh, and finally, uh, just more recently, uh, the situation in China has been a source of concern as uh, the prospects for growth there have, have seemed to uh, dimmed. So you bring those three things together, the continuing uncertainty uh, and continuing volatility in Europe, uncertain uh, growth prospects uh, in the United States, and the more recent uh, worries about China, really make the short-term risk to the global economy. So I think that clearly will be the number one issue.